Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today we're talking about proteins and their structure and function in living organisms. Proteins are macromolecules made primarily of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, but can have other atoms for certain proteins. Proteins are so abundant in the body and crucial to cell function that they are often called the building blocks of life. And let's first talk about protein structure, and then we'll talk about many of their fantastic functions. The basic subunits for all proteins are called amino acids. There are 20 main amino acids in living organisms. These amino acids all have the same basic structure with a carboxyl group and an amino group, but differ in their R group or side chain. The resulting amino acid may be polar, nonpolar, negatively charged, positively charged, or aromatic. If that all just went way over your head, that's okay for this video. Just know that there are 20 amino acids with subtle differences resulting in a variety of chemical structures. These amino acids bond with each other through a peptide bond and form long chains referred to as polypeptide chains. These chains then fold and bond with themselves to form a complete protein, and sometimes they combine with other proteins to make a more complex protein structure. Hemoglobin is a great example of this. Hemoglobin is the structure in red blood cells responsible for carrying oxygen to the cells. It is made of four globin protein subunits, each with an iron-containing heme group. In other words, amino acids form polypeptide chains that can become complex very quickly. Along with carrying oxygen through the body, proteins have many other important functions. Enzymes are proteins that assist in most chemical reactions in living organisms. Lactase, uh, was mentioned in our previous video, is the enzyme responsible for breaking down the carbohydrate lactose. In addition to digestion, enzymes are also in the metabolic energy pathways, genetic functions such as transcription and translation, and signaling communications between cells, and the list goes on and on. Proteins are also crucial in forming the interior structure of the cell, the cytoskeleton, and are responsible for transporting materials both within the cell and between cells. And, of course, our muscles are densely packed with proteins that facilitate the movement of our entire body. Proteins also include antibodies involved in our immune response and hormones used to communicate specific actions throughout the body. That was quite the crash course into proteins. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button, and if you have additional comments or questions, throw those below. Don't forget to check out my other videos, and I'll catch you next time.